good evening students and other well wishers we welcome you all to the excel maths online classes live chat um, so today's topic is how to make maths interesting our interest for mathematics daily we are just dealing on topics uh you can ask you any of your doubts clarification we give counseling and also it's an interaction session where we can have a live chat chat of things any doubts you can ask of course generally we deal with 8th to 12th mathematics of various syllabuses and even students of other streams science streams art streams any stream they can ask some general doubts about what scoring marks or anything in this excel maths online classes if you have any particular clarification doubts or sums you can post the thing in the comment box apart from this we have excel math study videos you can see it and we have a, a zoom class for complete coverage of syllabus textbook extra sums and all you can contact our email address and also home tuition for math physics chemistry in east bangalore area you can contact her email address now coming to the topic making maths interesting generally only a handful of students study itself is interesting if there are 100 students in a class those who think studies an interesting one many think studies is a boring one especially when they come to higher classes like 9th 10th uh, studies like a thorn in the flesh of course some 70% they like or manage they pull on they struggle but at least 30% think you know this going to studying doing homework exam test then result coming mark scoring all this are real headache many think so in studies itself for some of them is not interesting but what other things they like playing games in a smartphone they play playing laptops in computers and all but it studies when comes they actually either they have the fear for the school or the teachers sometimes they call the parents so some of them try to what fit in and i told you this occurs those who are in higher classes so as i told you many of them with the maths is interesting for example when they give the next day homework a science teacher thing they somehow pull on but when maths comes they can't work out the sums either they copy from the friends friends or take a guide and copy it notice a guide sir available you won't believe from first standard second standard also there are guides in certain states like tamil nadu where you can get guides from for the syllabus tamil nadu syllabus sir certain syllabuses from second or fourth thing i am not exaggerating so these kind of guides only make things sort not interesting so to make maths interesting all this are very similar anything with the interest is the student should have full participation or they should have mathematical activities 
mathematical activities uh, nowadays uh, learning methods methodology has been changed they got live screen big screen screen type tvs in classroom and uh, many puzzles they give uh, extra sums extra sums in the sense a small problem we did in that uh, simultaneous equation where x and y we convert into statement sum that ends in the simultaneous models we gave it cost of 3 one pencil and one pen is 5 rupees like that when you frame the equation the sums we taught first model there you get it so when you have a statement sum you find it quite what interesting and also you must go for digital or computer video supports so anything if you see your iq increases for example uh, sums in mensuration uh, many can understand because they say a square find the perimeter of a square means you can draw a square in the board so it's a, a diagram when you see the diagram your in depth knowledge increases square has got four sides perimeter means putting a fence so when you draw a square and show a fence where you put the fence means everybody will say and one side is called a there are four sides in a square all the four sides are equal they call it a a a or some 10 10 10 10, 10. so putting a fence is called perimeter so where you put the fence means all, all the four sides they put the fence a plus a plus a plus c is 4a is the perimeter So if a is 10 cm, if the side is 10 cm, 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 40 cm, or 4 into 10. So a diagram of a square, a rectangle, a triangle increases it, increases your knowledge much of the things. Whereas in the case of like uh, other things also in algebra also, if you put x and y, it will be little what something not interesting. So so to make it that you can go for a statement sum two mangoes cost how much two mangoes is 10 rupees more than three oranges and then you can get the statement and then do the sum like that there are a lot of methods including recreational methods so you can follow many methods and do it for example one of the ways of interesting is we are given a sum in simultaneous equation same sum done in six different methods so a mind which is inquisitive is just thinks oh this sum has got six methods to solve is very interesting a graphical method method with a diagram other methods uh, so you can just use that thing um, rajkumar joshi good evening uh, you have some doubts about your uh, square root They have uploaded the video and sent it. You can watch it. And uh, not only Raj Kumar Joshi, any of the students joining us, if you have any doubts in eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, or or any syllabus, so you can post your doubts or sums in the comment box. We'll work out and give it. And uh, Raj Kumar Joshi can go through the sums. We are given the three major models. Square root. What is square root? The fundamental one, which is very important for higher studies and eighth and ninth. We are given it. There are a lot of minor questions uh, that is there that you can learn it. But the major one we have tackled. So we have uh, given the essence of square root for you. You can go to that uh, uploaded video. And any other doubts also you can ask. And also we welcome Raj Kumar. Who's watching us? So, making maths interesting. Uh, I told you some stories yesterday about uh, learning a musical instrument, guitar, learning a cycle, learning a car, because you have a thirst for it. So, what happened? You learn it very fast. That's not the story with maths. Leave alone maths. I told you, and many don't like subjects much. One day they study many sit and study on the eve of the exams, as if uh, it is a uh, what headache we have to do. 
a compulsory one like a, oh, i have to study maths so a compulsory helmet scheme you do this i have so to study it's not like that and i can challenge you if you want to make maths interesting just work out for 6 or 7 days you get an interest you can go to the topics which you like it get some extra sums and uh, as i told you so you can work out systematically and uh, don't have any pessimistic ideas negative ideas uh, that that maths will come only for so so it won't come for me and uh, uh, my close friend is so intelligent he himself is struggling so don't compare with you others every individual is separate in god's creation so you try to develop it it will come it's not like that the more you practice so you get an interesting one you also can learn maths tricks there are lot of puzzles coming in your papers adding numbers so you get the same total uh, so like this sort of lot of problems simple problems are there um, for example some some questions which is very interesting uh, for example i'll tell you one thing uh, a man went to a hotel he is a simple sum do it doesn't have a particular answer it's a lengthy answer so the man went to the hotel he took 100 rupees and then uh, mm-hmm. what happened the bill was on 95 rupees so he gave it tips of 3 uh, rupees he came out abhishek raj good evening abhishek raj square root will come in 10th yeah square root will come in any class deepak samsar good evening at deepak okay so this uh, this uh, this hotel uh, i mean this thing puzzle goes like this actually three person went this is more easy to understand this 9 rupees 27 rupees was the bill so three of them paid 99 rupees so 27 rupees and uh, three rupees they paid as tip so the total comes to 30 rupees so the three person went out so the manager saw and uh, called the server and said one of the boys known to me one of the person you just give back two rupees so he gave back two rupees so again i repeat three person went to hotel nine rupees each 27 rupees was the bill bill and they took 30 rupees 10 10 rupees 9 9 rupees they gave it so 27 rupees plus 3 rupees they gave us tip while coming out two rupees was given back to them so the server came running and said the two rupees the manager gave to work that he knows you well so they were calculating how, how much was this thing so 93 said 27 and 2 rupees what was given back so 27 plus 2 is 29 what happened to the 1 rupee it was a puzzle so actually if you go the other way 93 said 27 rupees 3 rupees was given to the server as tips 27 plus 3 is 30 e- each of them took 10 rupees each they ate for the bill was 27 they shared 99 and 3 rupees they gave happily to the server one rupee that was over now what happened after paying 30 2 rupees came back to their hand because the server came running and handed back to rupees stating said the manager said he knows you or he knows your father well so he just gave the 2 rupees back so they were just calculating we paid 93 or 27 2 rupees came back 29 what happened to the one rupee so this kind of puzzle sums are there and which you can go through there are, there are a lot of interesting sums to make maths interesting so in fact this is one of the most interesting as i told you maths is applied in all fields including physics and uh, every field is applied chemistry everywhere is applied um, and uh, any doubt you can ask and also 
press the like button you can subscribe to the channel press the bell button for any future uploads you can see through it you can tell your well wisher friends and neighbors so uh, and being an interaction so it's better if you ask some question it'll be more lively of course uh, i speak it and also you can tell you can pass comments in the comments box if something what i said was not understandable what i said was wrong because nowadays it's a competitive world digital world where people go through a lot of videos a lot of talk like this so you can tell us we can also what improve on this chat to make it more lively so it should not be a boring one so uh, just giving a speech more than that uh, of course i said uh, next week we'll try to put some interesting questions in the board uh, actually because of the lockdown we couldn't get some cables now we are parking ordered it for the cables uh, there was complete lockdown and even now shops are closed in bangalore in particular areas the electronic shops are sealed because it's spreading in chennai also was not able to get we have ordered online and once the cable comes we'll put the thing in to make it more thing interesting we'll work out some sums and uh, sums means not uh, like what of course your doubts will work out and upload it some some interesting questions we'll ask we'll discuss a lot of questions are there to make maths more interesting so like that you can go for live videos you can go for lot like some uh, there are a lot of uh, methods like cards in playing cards they do a lot of magic maths also got a lot of magic sums how to find cube root there are a lot of videos you can enjoy it cube root means multiply and number three times there are a lot of shortcut methods a lot of lively live videos where you can see and enjoy it there will be thing tip of samson how to keep theorems in mind is very confusing theorems are little there are three types of theorem one is they give one di it is given statement from the statement you will draw one diagram and you have to prove the first kind of theorem is from the diagram we have to you can easily prove based on some previous theorems thing the second kind of theorems are quite hard where you must draw a construction and prove it so you don't know when to draw the construction the, the kind of theorems which construction is done is quite hard but nowadays theorems have been completely stopped we have called riders a sum based on a theorem is called a rider nowadays theorems is regular ones from the theorem you have to what pythagoras theorem for example so you can learn that pythagoras theorem there are three ways of learning it to one you can uh, because nowadays only they, they are asking a particular question five marks pythagoras theorem so many mug up many try to understand in particular way number two number three is if you do some riders you got to understand more riders means from the theorem you have to do extra sums from the theorem so you have to apply the theorem that's called a rider straight away you can apply and get the answer is quite easy some theorems not to really must apply you must draw one line like that a construction you must draw those kind of theorems are very hard so nowadays theorems have been reduced in some 15 20 years back theorems and a lot of riders are there based on one theorem if they give one rider that it means from the theorem you must prove it is very very hard as i told you if you, if you must have to, to draw out construction but but nowadays they are all tangent cord theorem pythagoras theorem like that these theorems are uh, standard theorems which you can learn directly do you need not mug up if you study two times it will come or you can understand easily if you have any doubt with a particular theorem for example pythagoras theorem model i can teach you so you can put in the comment box uh, but theorems have been made very simple gone are the days theorems uh, as i told you sums based on theorems called riders are very hard nowadays uh, those things have been stopped completely only some lower classes in get it simple theorems and riders so state and prove the pythagoras theorem if you write the statement draw the diagram construction and uh, sorry this one construction also reasons 
and i think pythagoras theorem and all you can prove in many methods the guinness book says something some there are 200 methods of proving a pythagoras theorem a lot of methods are there so you can learn some easy methods and uh, it is not confusing uh, theorems if you want to become more thorough you must do sums based on theorem called riders it is more confusing a theorem by itself is not confusing from theorem you get sums you have to apply the theorem in the from theorem there are three kinds of sums one is numerical sums number sums are quite easy and from theorems you get riders from the theorem directly the third type is very hard where you have to draw some lines constructions and prove it so if you want to the theorem you can learn it. after theorem the book you will find some numerical yeah. sums for example pythagoras theorem 3 4 and 5 are the sides of a right angle triangle pythagoras theorem comes in right angle triangle so what olympic exam is very useful and that i'll find out and let you know uh, because there are a lot of syllabuses in fact we got international syllabus is also like cambridge syllabus igcsc and uh, icsc syllabus so a lot of syllabus so what kind of olympic olympic exams is useful i'll find out and let you know if we can find out right? especially for uh, there, are, there are exams for lower classes higher classes exams for scholarship where you can study freely exams given by the central government directly exam given by some private organizations olympic associations science associations so there are a lot of types are there so i'll find out and let you know and uh, can you go for shortcut methods in maths abhishek raj shortcut methods are good but first you must learn the correct method shortcut methods if a teacher teaches one shortcut method many like the teachers they say the teachers teaching shortcut method that teachers teaching a lengthy method it's not a lengthy method it's a method where it involves steps so a method called a lengthy method will give you the correct idea uh, first you must learn the foundation the correct method and then you can go for shortcut methods every time if you do shortcut ways and all shortcut methods are sometimes dangerous every time it's not good if you're writing an entrance exam where you have to finish a sum fast you can do it right from the beginning uh, don't uh, go for shortcut methods you can apply an answer for example in simultaneous equations which we have uploaded after finding the answer we are given one method to check the answer these are called a kind of what methods where you can be sure about the shortcut methods can be used to check the answer to check the answer some schools don't accept also shortcut methods they say a jump steps and uh, some syllabus doesn't agree these kind of shortcut methods so first of all a shortcut method can be used to check the answer many answers you can check is something shortcut methods are there and uh, for example some formulas also you can use shortcut methods identities in shortcut methods that you can that's only called like a puzzle you can enjoy maths make maths lively interesting for that you can use it but um, you can't use in the class for example if 100 students are writing an exam and 99 students are writing the correct step methods and you're following a shortcut method uh, i don't think the teacher will give you marks and i don't think uh, she will say everybody follow the methods and second thing is shortcut methods involve more iq more knowledge something jumping of steps so okay, that is the main thing so rajkumar joshi i'll tell you which olympic for your uh, cbc eight pattern is better there are a lot of things there are exams for cambridge level a level o levels london a level o level so which olympic is best so they say asia pacific mathematic olympic computing and informatic olympics this you can see in google but uh, we must know pra- uh, those who are practically t- i mean done it if you see the google and get the information but you must ask others as you asked me being a master you done a good thing rajkumar joshi you correctly asked sir which is better you tell 
so and so said that boy said this boy said as i told you this kind of exams are useful there are exams which will give you marks when you go for abroad studies there are this kind of extra exams and also scholarships for study your exams kept by the central government itself to encourage the students for scientists this thing where they selected so so we'll find out actually we'll put the list that you can you can also see from google sir when we are will writing our exam paper how we can represent our paper beautiful and neat beautiful and neat won't come in the final exam you will do from the beginning beautiful and neat is actually uh, what i say many won't agree the teachers will agree many teachers nowadays want as i told you you must write question number 1 2 3 4 5 in the order jumping questions nowadays nobody supports if you are very weak Three questions you don't know, so don't try that. I told you, you put the correct number. Yesterday I was telling how to remove fear in mathematics. So first way of making neat is writing the question one after another. Point number one. Uh, point number two is what you must do is apart from your handwriting, uh, the first three or four five sums which you do, they say the first impression is the best impression. so the first sum if you get a correct two marks suppose there are two mark question so i tell all my students don't jump to big question five marks if you make a mistake your image will be what spoiled if you cancel the five marks do the two marks first for example there are five two marks there are 10 two marks tuck 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 the ticket all the five two marks are correct means the tick 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 five two are 10 marks you get if there are 10 two marks 20 marks you get it or not only that they get a good impression of it. the one who corrects will think what this boy has got some stuff this girl has got stuff no 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 i want to go to five mark this sum i forget if you do, do the first one five mark question that give a bad impression of a teacher and if you go wrong and cancel and do it again that is only called neat of course handwriting also neat uh, suddenly you can't develop your handwriting try to write legibly on your set you must not try write, write beautifully i think that's better but write clearly and legibly so do the sums like one mark do in the order don't jump off questions that only can get you good marks and represent your answer sheet well and as i told you in the answer sheet if it's a math maths one draw the rough column show the working in the rough column the teachers will appreciate uh it's better to draw the rough column and do it you may be thorough i think especially yesterday i was telling numbers you must write legibly two will look like three in the fast you're writing three will look like two seven will look like one and uh, for 15 they put one here and five some place i see students copying the question is from you. 2x to put as 3x in a hurry they say i made a mistake thing so that is called beautiful and neat so i told you the first impression is the best impression so write the question in order that is why the teachers say write the question in order but if a very weak all all students can't write question one after another they may be good in certain topics certain topics they may be weak fifth question they don't know probability there zero in probability and if you scribble something in probability write some nonsense teacher will get angry so it's better to do what they do no first and try the fifth question last at least some something what they know they can write it but uh, writing neatly means it's better to write in the order okay next is if you go to high higher class like 10th or 11th pu and all selection of questions very important they'll they'll ask you to select the question right five questions out of seven and uh, sometimes you select a question uh, which is what uh, which is you think what easy or you think what this question i first write and do it or far i forget 
if you make a mistake and cancel make it shabby to go and cancel cancel your answer sheet will look very bad i remember in a parents teacher meeting uh the teacher was showing the answer sheet to the mother and she has cancelled she has made so shabby she has cancelled several times the mother gave a slap to the daughter in front of the teacher this is how you do it so the parent itself she has also got angry what you are writing you like this so it's not only the teacher or the school even sometimes parents get angry when you see the acting answer sheet Uh, so the, the digits also thousands hundreds units in maths and algebra right correctly uh, think that's called working neat and thing and uh, if you do science subjects draw the diagrams well diagrams you try to practice uh, and they generally see from 6th 7th 8th 9th only this kind of drawings will come good if you want to learn a bike or a cycle or any instrument only in a lower age you can learn it thoroughly you can become a master and nobody can learn a guitar in 40 years and become a professional there may be one or two in one lakh if you want to become a profession in a subject i told you if you want to become a professional guitarist you must learn from the younger age where your mind blends so you can't learn guitarist at 45 years and become a professional guitarist it's not possible so drawing in science like biology try to draw it may be hard see records also in practical records drawing is very important record sometimes yes, your school teacher can't help you there will be an external teachers nail put marks school teacher don't have power over you or you in 11th toy and all 50 marks for practicals a teacher will come from outside and they'll watch your records simple drawing is bad means they'll try to put ready smart your school teacher may support you i is my student i like this everybody won't at this so from a childhood 600 700 try to draw two times you try it will come off don't think a drawing won't come everybody is not born an artist of course some of the talent they draw beautifully that is uh, some uh, what to say born talent thing everybody will have different talents so don't think it he is drawing well i am not drawing well you be having some other different talent given by god so try to draw neatly sometimes they draw on plant the leaves itself will look funny you see drawing leaves are so easy i have seen student drawing leaves scribbling so so it is a gets angry so this is called making the paper beautiful you did not draw a very beautiful diagram so hope you understood joshi so these things will fetch you good marks this is the way of getting what coming first in the state exams and all and uh, continuing a topic make maths interesting so uh, make maths interesting science you can make interesting for example you if you want to learn about heat temperature a topic if you show a thermometer various thermometers used in laboratories used for physical bodies centigrade thermometer fahrenheit thermometer if they show that the apparatus instruments practical classes you like it very much physics practicals as a version of difference between maths practical nowadays many schools keep maths practical they give some sums like puzzles uh, or thing and all but that not be equalized to physics practicals where you understand the concept immediately in a physics practical for example fan balance physical balance how to measure smaller things using a milligram they give you a balance if you work out you can understand uh, whereas in mathematics you can understand but not like physics fast because physics practical is a real practical maths practical comes something like a what to say outside the school for example many parents suppose if you go to a shop the parents give 100 rupees from 7 standard first 10 rupees you buy and and come something the money you get from that thing that will make you easy for example 10 rupees you buy 2 rupees and 50 paise 30 paise 
remaining money you're getting back. So the subtraction becomes thorough. That's why I said more than class learning in maths, outside learning is very better. For example, uh, I, was, I was teaching on, uh, on student home tuition about interest. For 100 rupees, it's 10 rupees interest. They are quite uh, rich people. She doesn't go out. She asked me, what is interest? I said, if you, if you get 100 rupees on loan, you have to pay 10 rupees as interest. That's called 10% interest. She says, very bad. Why should we pay for 100 rupees loan, 10 rupees interest? I, I said, even if you go to a bank and get some money for a construction of a house, you have to pay some interest for a bank. And I tried to explain it, that interest, they pay salary like that. But she's because she doesn't have any practical knowledge. She, she's just in the four walls inside the house. So maths practical is not in the class, not in the book, not in the house. You have to go and practice outside. You can go and what? Go to a shop and you can help your daddy in business. Many students, they ask their daddy what they're doing. Daddy in the business means not a thing, just simple things. You, you can find out from him. You can also learn. That's why many parents, they take their wives after 10th or 12th to the business. During holidays, I've seen the, pair, the father will be a businessman. He'll, he'll take the son, not the 7th standard, 8th standard son. He'll take the 12th standard son to the office, to his business office, and he'll teach some minimum things. Accounts also will teach. They'll be having good auditors in the office. But they'll try to take the child so they can develop from the childhood. So practical in maths, accounts, and all comes outside the house and outside the classroom or outside the lab. Whereas physics, chemistry, if you go to the lab, you can understand. If you add two chemical substances, you get a brown ring. That is then inside a lab, a four walls. Whereas in maths and other things, accounts and all, you would go out and learn what things are. How it varies. So this is how makes maths interesting. And uh, while drawing lines, you're drawing a diagram. Uh, if, you, if you draw a diagram, is good in science. For example, it, anything you can draw a diagram, simple diagram you can draw. And uh, heat and temperature, so you can draw. Heat is measured using a calorimeter. What is it? How is it measured? You can just draw a simple calorimeter that will add your marks. It will take hardly a few seconds. And temperature is measured using a thermometer. It may be a one mark question. Just draw a small thermometer. In science and all in time, to increase your marks. This is also called making the paper beautiful. So how to make maths interesting? Yes. It is not a one-day effort. It will take some time. And you must be very careful when you go to the higher class. Higher class maths are more interesting and challenging. It's just like missing a race. So when you go on a race, there are two kinds of race. One is lengthier one, like 5,000 meters. What is a smaller race? In the smaller race, from the first step, you must try to be hard. To come first. In the bigger one, you can go run slowly and then try to overtake. So if it's some 5 kilometers, 5,000 meters race and all. But in a smaller race, first system, you must try to be abreast of the other thing. Like that, in, in mathematics, from the beginning, you must be thorough. In the sense, I support going for summer coachings. Many summer coachings, they go for a Swimming is good only. I'm not against going for swimming, skating, and whatnot. Now there's a lot of big list, but it's become a commercial thing to go for summer, summer games, summer coaching. In the long run, what happened? Two months they, they go for swimming, skating. They forget math. They forget studies. Their interest for not only for maths, their interest for studies goes off. When the school reopens, they come like a dead person, dead in spirit. They come dull to the school. And it will take minimum one week to 10 days to come back to normalcy because they enjoy during summer so much. So what I suggest to you is 
suggest to you summer you do one thing you go for all this also study both you must balance that is why it's called making maths interesting and the first casualty is mathematics during summer if you're going from 7th to 8th 8th is a higher class if you're going from 8th to 9th 9th is a higher class 9th to 10th 10th to 11th that summer is very hard it's more important you're climbing a hill steep you're going so what happened during holidays you try to equip yourself in maths at least physics chemistry and all you can manage if you if you miss your summer thing but maths my advice is to make it more interesting go for summer coaching and equip some basic things at least out of 10 topics two topics you try to learn in summer so that you can go up as just like running in a 100 meter race from the first year to maintain the pace like that so don't forget that's why i said making maths interesting and uh, if you have any doubts you can put in the comment box press the like button you can subscribe to our channel press also the bell button tell your friends neighbors and others if you want home tuitions we take maths physics and chemistry and uh, contact our email address and also zoom classes for everything we are starting very soon today also there was some on reference for the 12th standard karnataka syllabus for zoom classes i said uh, it will start from today first so if, if you want to can make one to one student or two or three and uh, more than three is you think won't be good if you want to make it like a class it won't be more useful any of we discuss over it so you contact our email so making maths what interesting so a lot of questions are there which makes what maths interesting some puzzles also three persons a man went to a want to cross the shore from one shore to another it is a famous uh, small what small class story they tell parents or others are to and there was one lion a sheep and a grass and, and only one can be taken to the other shore how will you take it so if the man takes the grass the lion will kill the sheep if the man takes the lion the sheep will eat the grass like there are a lot of puzzle questions are there then have we crossed many questions are there these things will make you maths interesting i'm telling this lion story from the beginning must make this so this lion puzzle is not for this or 10th 11th there are puzzles interesting things maths puzzles maths digital sums and all for higher classes to make more maths interesting again cutting to uh, abhishek raj shortcut methods in maths shortcut methods you can work in the rough work for uh, for sort of checking the answer but what the teacher teaches you are supposed to do it because shortcut methods everybody can't understand okay generally in shortcut in life some may come generally there's a way you have to work hard and come in life some may uh, come life in very faster in shortcuts shortcut means i'm not telling what fraud methods or cheating methods some may come up in life in business very fast but generally working hard and coming some these steps better if you are given grace and come fast it's okay so your shortcuts are something like uh, crossing a railway line which is dangerous so shortcut methods are good for the entrance for checking an answer uh, but check out with the teacher whether she'll agree so when everybody is writing a particular method you do it shortcut you can do it in a four can check it and uh, i explain about thing about olympiad exam there are lot of things which you can see yourself in the thing net but you will find out which is more purposeful and useful for us for higher classes uh, for going abroad and all and theorems is nowadays i told you theorems uh, is much easier there's only one question or two question they ask and lower classes some syllabus cbs they have it but other syllabus don't have it so theorems based on theorem theorem you can study based on theorem there are three kinds of sums numerical sums that are quite easy sums based on the theorems called riders that's also very easy straight sums only sums riders based on theorems where you have to draw on construction and you don't know from where to where you draw a line that kind of riders are little hard other things are thing square root will come in every class i have given a uploaded for joshi 
you will learn one square to 15 square in 8th standard and 30 square till in 9th standard this square root if you throw it will come again and it will come very fast otherwise you go for calculator i have told in the video how to calculate square roots life long many good square roots for calculator any big square root you can do it fast if you learn till 30 square it will come fast like that you can do it and uh, and any more questions you can ask and uh, actually we are planning to ma make this 6 to 7:30 and uh, saturday and sunday we are planning to stop this live discussion because a lot of things we have to upload today also rajkumar joshi's questions we had we took some time to upload it because a lot of things we have to upload apart from this there are calls asking some doubts can you do it personal calls now to my old students are phoning and asking so do this one to the tone show and what why can't you make this topic can you speak in this topic sometimes these topics are given by students which are not given so there are a lot of uh, pressure is growing as days go on so what we are planned is to have from monday to friday saturday sunday to leave it apart from it you also have saturday sunday and then work out but don't, but don't go out now this pandemic is spreading everywhere all over india not advisable it's better to be on the safe try to obey the government thing if you go out if there's a necessity wear mask and go and wash your hands every time don't join in any group don't stand in a group people standing in a group try to avoid going out go with the parents and don't go with friends and all if it's very necessity you go be in the house and anything you tell your parents uh, so so you can sit in the house you can work out a lot and maths you can overtake maths you, you get it interesting this is the best chance you are having it after the school starts they will rush up because of lengthy holidays so try to work out this and uh, regarding theorems some more ideas if you want you can ask some theorem we'll explain to you but first question i'm going to ask uh, uh, tomorrow only i can ask rajkumar joshi deepak samson abhishek raj and others did you see our uploaded video in this excel maths online classes abhishek i have uploaded three unknowns x y and z which comes in 10th standard only your syllabus 10th it comes some syllabus comes in 11th i have uploaded two methods i am going to upload third method so you must see that video and put in the comment box whether you understood the sum which method you like or that method is enough or any other extra sum you want so asking question is not enough you watch the video i have put it then only i'll be happy otherwise uh, just speaking something is blabbering something and you're listening something so i i uploaded so don't forget abhishek raj three unknowns are a lengthy sum we have done it simultaneous equation with three linear unknowns is quite hard in fact we have done in several methods and your syllabus i think has only one method at least that method we study if you are interested you can study the other two methods we are not against so it even ask also no sir i want only one method which we ask in the exam you study that so do is good you are asking questions but first i see that uploaded video rajkumar joshi today also you can see that thing we have, we have uploaded your uh, square root what is square root basic uh, there are lot of stories simple stories small stories but we given a beautiful foundation about square root you just go through it and any doubts you can put in the comment box or ask us tomorrow till friday will come in fact we will extend it till 6 to 7:30 uh, we will be here if more students come you can do it So Saturday, Sunday, we we thought of leaving it because a lot of uh, questions and pressures are coming. A lot of ideas we are going to put it. We have to work out on Saturdays, Sundays. You can also work out sums. Yeah. So in fact, if you want uh, some extra sums in square root, you can see the textbook uh, Joshi. Your textbook. Not only your textbook. There are a lot of sums you can and get from thing other syllabus online everything. So you can do that sums. Any doubts you can ask. You can put in the comment box. So press the like button. Try to subscribe. 
you can subscribe to us and also press the bell button for any uploads. Also, watch our Excel Math Study. Higher students, 10th, 11th, and 12th, we got one more YouTube channel called Excel Math Study. So we put a lot of videos sometime back. Some, uh, some beautiful subjects like arithmetic progression, um, quadratic equations we had done in four or five methods. You can watch that thing. And these kind of shortcut methods are good. That's interesting. That are called puzzles to solve the sums, to check the answer for the entrance and all. Uh, that is done in the entrance and separately. That don't come in the regular stream, uh, like a school studies. School studies, you can't work out things. Suppose there's cube root or square root. There are only methods taught in the school. There are, apart from the methods taught in the school, there are a lot of shortcut methods for square root. That they won't agree in the school. That you can work outside in the entrance exam. You can check the answer. You can't work out in the class. No teacher will agree. So sometimes the teacher will think you are acting smart. So shortcut methods, you follow that. And continuing with the before completing, making maths interesting. Can you tell me how many of you are interested in maths? Abhishek Raj, Deepak is now in commerce. So I think Deepak, you, you got allergy with maths and ran away to commerce. I don't know. How much you're getting in maths? And uh, one more thing, maths, I forgot to tell you. Uh, that's a very, very important thing. Till now, I forgot to tell you. You may get 90 marks in a quarter. Look here. You may get 90 marks in a quarterly exam. And don't think you are very smart. Next exam, you may end up with 60 and the final exam 30. Because in the quarterly exam, the portions are less. There are only three topics, you got 90 marks. How many topics? Three topics, you got 90 marks. In the offerly exam, the topic will be six. The logic or the rule is when the topic goes up, the marks come down. Again, I repeat. When the topic goes up, the marks come up. So many students, they jump when they get 90 marks in a quarterly exam. Quarterly exam is hardly, hardly the first term exam in a September. Just the school starts three topics or four topics, they finish. And some of them may be easy. Probably the hot topics starts afterwards. So if you get 90 marks, 95 marks in quarterly, don't get happy. It's very dangerous. Quarterly, you'll come down to 60 or fail or because the harder topics may come later. And finally, exam will still struggle. So always maintain the trend, maintain the thing. Okay, so that is another important thing in mathematics. So you may say that quarterly, I think I got 90. Awfully, the topics are thing I failed in awfully. So I'll fail in final. Because quarterly, you took it for granted. So if we must understand when the portions are less, marks will come. When the portion increases, the marks will come down. That is the rule. Of course, some school keeps only particular topics. If, if they teach three topics for quarterly, that three topics. Another three topics for offerly, another three topics. But finally, they keep all the topics. Then you will trouble. That is not good. Uh, uh, three topics in quarterly, six in offerly, and nine in final better. Then they must not ask all the nine in final exam. But nowadays, you've got some syllabus books coming for uh, first term and second term, because uh, a lot of students are studying, 10 lakhs to 8 lakh students are studying in Tamil Nadu. So there are village students, they, say they can't cope up. They can't study nine topics and write. That's why bringing part one book, part two book to make study easy. Because village students don't have means to study. They can't go for tuition. Their parents are poor. They can't even fees, pay fees. Yes, also it came in news, one girl was selling vegetables. She's staying in a grandmother's house. After selling vegetables, she goes to school and teaches her brother. And the MLA son gave her 10,000 rupees and said, what for studies I pay? So village students don't have means, finance to study. So for them only, they keep some easy topics. So easy topics are also very important. So for them also, I gave some tips. For intelligent students also, I gave some tips how to make it interesting. In 10 standard graph for how many marks? Abhishek Raj. 10 standard graph, I think my olden days in 70s and 80s, 10 mark question. We study graph, 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 we'll go and we'll try to get the 10 marks. If we lose the 10 marks, we'll cry. 
when you are starting your zoom classes i asked you to contact the email which class you want to come how many of you want to come you want to come alone in shared class or you want to come with someone you contact the thing what syllabus you want to do you want any particular topic you want to go according to the school now schools have started online classes uh, many say sir the first topic i know well the thing how to attend one more question in 10th standard one more question you have to practice one more questions are very dangerous objective type in mathematics and science and all uh, for example what is the unit of speed if they ask straight question anybody will say meter per second in objective type what is the unit of speed four answers they give meter per second meter per second square kilometer per hour then they will scratch the head they know the answer meter per second next answer is meter per second square that's for that i started to get it down that is why in foreign countries generally they go for objective type in entrance also they give for objective type if they ask a straight question many people will mug up they'll vomit when they see the four answers they know meter per second they study suddenly suddenly they'll get to doubt whether this meter per second square may be correct so one more type nowadays they ask objective types you be very careful so not only you should mug up you must understand speed is the first floor speed is actually distance by time distance is meter time is second acceleration is what speed by time speed is already meter per second acceleration is second floor speed is first floor so speed, uh, acceleration is speed by time so meter by meter per second by second meter per second square so like that you must understand only you can get one mark or in other words there are 21 marks if you want to get 21 marks you want mark up you, you may be thorough with a lot of answers even the known answers you struggle i have given a sum today to joshi square root of 1 square root of sorry 4 you take it square root of 4 is 2 you know they give four answers joshi you can see the uploaded video afterwards square root of 4 they give you four answers plus 2 minus 2 plus or minus 2 plus 4 uh, again i repeat square root of 4 if you ask you say plus 2 that is not the correct answer you can see the uploaded video square root of 4 is called plus or minus 2 not plus 2 alone many write only plus 2 i know student to got 99 and 2 left that one mark why it is plus or minus 2 i explained in that uh, uploaded video you can see today square root things like that one marks are more dangerous if it is objective type anybody will answer straight question they'll mug up they'll vomit what the matter when they give four answers they start no answers not only students even teachers like me have a problem sometimes they ask some entrance question two questions will look very similar answers so we have to work out and get it so in entrance we can't work out fully as i said some shortcut methods or you have to jump the steps or to certain level you have to work out so these are the main things so one more question if you want to attend means you must understand the concept you can mug up if you mug up out of 10 one marks you get 25 or 6 four will go off and don't try to you follow a teacher what she says as far as possible from my 30 years experience don't try to follow any student however intelligent he may be follow your teacher Mm. I know one student. It happened three years back. Bangalore. I went for a home tuition. His uh, he's a CBC boy studying tenth standard in Bangalore. Maths, physics, chemistry. I used to go. I told you I went. Maths, physics, chemistry. He said, "Sir, you did not teach." I got a close friend. He's going for IIT exams and all. He'll teach me well. But the parents said, "Sir, don't trust him." IIT level is very high. So what happened? in that uh, i think it's 9th standard sorry it's not 10th standard 9th standard i think before going to 10th bangalore it happened 2 3 years back so what happened that boy 
मैथ्स फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री लेफ्ट ऑफ ऑल एग्जाम ही फेल्ड इन केमिस्ट्री so the parents told me i told you sir don't trust that boy then i asked him what happened no sir he taught me he, but he is very brilliant he got 98 marks i said your friend has got 98 marks that is not mean what happened to you so what are it is thing your friend may be good you can study with him i'm not against it try to work out in the class and go ask by the teacher sees and doubts him about the teacher you can ask you can study with a friend if he's quite intelligent there's nothing harm in it so try to work what the teacher has given us homework your friend may be studying good thing he may jump steps which you can't grasp it so these are very important tips to make what maths interesting so finally the fellow failed then i went and they gave a 15 days time they get a, they gave a retest he passed it happened in 9th cbse so don't do like that and all it's just like a that student may be smart i'm not against it that he may teach you or he may be a close friend learn from it but his his iq his knowledge may be quite high but your iq may be less it's not the same thing i told you five fingers are not same all iq won't be same even they say in dogs of same breed dogs of same breed have different iq they say i don't know why so i read in one magazine so like that even dogs has different iq means what about human beings So one dog may be smart. One dog may be though though they are trained the same pattern. They say it. I, I read in a magazine. So it depends upon your what. I think so. Don't ask the intelligent student like that. You ask him, it's nothing harm. But follow what the teacher says in the class, because they go they go for orientation classes nowadays. Government is keeping orientation class. The syllabus is going up. knowledge is going high so the government or the school sends them for higher learning sends them for some group discussions sends them for work discussions and all so they come trained up on teaching so follow the teacher what they says as far as possible and if you have doubt you ask them so you can ask the doubt to a friend who is very good but everything don't follow it so to make maths interesting you try to work out yourself and uh, and mostly it's a one way talk and thank you for all your information you are asking so before concluding first is abhishek raj you are asking lot of questions did you see that uploaded video of three unknowns we have put two days back it's very hard did you try it i don't think you tried it try and ask doubt i have given you two or three methods You will not do three methods. At least your method, you try and tell me. Next, come to Rajkumar Joshi today. You please watch the uploaded video of five root, and you can tell me anything. And uh, regarding theorems, Adipak, I don't know your comments where theorem comes. Probably some of your friends ask. Ask your friend first to study the famous theorem. That is a sure question. Sums based on theorems and write the second digits. Theorems you can write and see two or three times. It is full. Theorems is like a poetry. Theorems is just like a poetry. Write the statement, do it. I am not asking you to mug up a theorem because five marks will come as it is. For example, theorems in reasoning, you can't write your own cock and bull stories. You must write the correct reason. So write the theorem, learn it. If you can't understand, you can teach the theorem. Even if you teach the theorem and tell the students to write and see properly what is given, because theorem is like an English poetry. Quite if you write correctly, only will give you marks. So don't forget, come till Monday to Friday. There won't be on Saturday and Sunday. And any doubts, clarification, put in your comment box. Press the like button and subscribe it. Also press the bell button. Tell your neighbors, friends, and others. Don't forget about home tuitions. When you reach, you can contact. And uh, Contact in the email. Zoom classes. You come to the email because we have to find out how much students are coming next class and when to start. So thanks for watching. And also tell us something wrong from our side. Our teaching, our speech, speech is boring. That is better. That way you could do it. You can give suggestions. It is not necessary only a person elder to me or my age should give a suggestion. Even you can give us good suggestions. We won't get. Uh, Hurt.
So give us some good suggestions because nowadays people are watching a lot of videos. Not only my videos good. People are comparing. Oh, this video is good. That video is good. I heard my students tell you, sir, your video was good when you go for tuition. Say we saw your video, sir. But that is good, sir. That much is little better. So learning is a continuous process. You can learn anything. So thank for watching. We'll meet you tomorrow. Come prepared. Thank you for everybody. Deepak Samson. Thank. I will watch and let you know, sir. Deepak Samson Raj. Very good. Deepak Samson Raj, you are in comics. Abhishek Raj should watch. I don't know what you are going to watch because I because I am not teaching comics. Abhishek Raj should watch. He is only in what? Then that syllabus is little high. And Deepak, you are not in maths. I don't know what you are going to watch. <laughs> you just watch whether ah, Abhishek is study. And Joshi, you also watch that. Uploaded square root video. Thank you. Okay.